Hey guys, so as part of our Tastemaker series, I've got Tiffany in the kitchen with me and she's going to show us how to prepare a chocolate fondant. Mm -hmm. Now that's one of those scary recipes a lot of people, including me, yeah. avoid. Really? Yes, you I've never avoid... made one. Oh my gosh, this, this is so easy. This is my first time to yeah. ever make a chocolate fondant. Okay, well, I hope this <laughs> works out because again, I've probably been making this since I was 14. No. Yeah. Um, and you can do it as a giant chocolate fondant cake, which is what we're going to do. Okay. Or you can do it in ramekins and, you know, have individual portions. Um, it cooks faster. That how, long, how long does it take usually to prepare? Because it's one of those dishes you have to prepare and serve right away. Yeah. Yeah. So probably like, you know, you've got to melt some chocolates with some butter. Yeah. That depends on what the mood is. <laughs> you know, but like five minutes for that. Okay. Um, and you whisk up your egg whites. Once your chocolate's a little bit cool, you add your... Uh, sugar and your egg yolks to that then you fold in the egg whites pop it into the oven and bake it okay. for at 200 degrees for how many minutes so i do it depends on the oven but it's a kind of like 15 to 20 minutes how much? and then and then i do an extra 10 minutes with foil over the top i'm super excited okay yeah. let's get let's going. do this okay so first we're going to do is we're going to melt the chocolate with the butter in a bain marie i usually use like a glass pyrex bowl over a, i need to invest in some <laughs> glass pyrex but bowls. we're going to try this today so if this doesn't work i'm going to blame I mean, this you think that <laughs> for someone who has such a well-equipped kitchen yes, i would have pyrex i am going bowls. to gift you a series of pyrex bowls <laughs> um so we're going to pop this in okay usually you don't want like air to escape but it's fine i'm just gonna know? move it this way so that we don't okay. get affected by the cool air. yeah there we, yeah. there we go um and now we can throw this in so and we did a wooden spoon and uh, no a metal, metal spoon. spoon so with chocolate always a metal spoon um wood will not work so what um, kind of chocolate do you prefer 70 percent? 70 percent. i have made this with 85 percent uh -huh. um for a really lovely rich one yes um and you can do chocolate that's got a flavoring in it so like a chocolate with raspberry mm. um with orange mm. uh this we've gone for standard 70 percent yes. dark chocolate and yeah so now we just have to wait basically what we could do is separate the eggs okay so Please work. So basically, how many disasters have you had separating eggs in your life? Oh, many. Yeah? Many. Um, right, so egg whites and egg yolks are somewhat successfully separated. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so I can whisk that for you if you want. Yeah, okay. cool. And I'll give this to you. Okay. And you just want Nice just, peaks? Yeah, like super stiff peaks, so we can turn it upside down. Okay. Ooh, okay. That looks nice turn and silky up. smooth. Thank you. Okay, so we want this to be a little, it needs to cool a bit because otherwise you're going to cook your egg yolks. Yeah. Okay, so I always just like to whisk those. Uh, and then we can add in the sugar first. You want to put the sugar in there? I'm going to add it actually into the chocolate. Should I add um, it in for you or? Yeah, let's wait a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll just have like a two minute break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you, I noticed you asked for sugar, but not caster sugar. Yeah. It's, it is, you it, could it, do it with caster sugar as well. It's just more fine. But um, yeah, it goes, this, the, gr the granules don't bother me. Okay. Uh, yeah. It will melt, I guess, yeah. once it's cooked. Yeah. Okay. I am going to pour this in and will you stir yeah. rapidly? So we'll do a little bit of egg yolk. I think doing too much. And we'll just go very quickly with this. It gets very uh, thick. Yeah. yeah. But this is good it's not cooking it so right now what we're going to do that's actually fine it's okay yep yeah. so now i'm just going to fold in the egg whites oh, yes fine. thank you so i do like half and half and just very light you can do you could have we could have melted the chocolate in a bigger bowl but this is fine just try not to overbeat it or or beat it at all
so yeah this looks like a huge mess but i can promise you it's going to be divine <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's great. You know what we've forgotten to do is butter the tin. So I'll we need that. to butter that really quickly. I'll do that for you. Okay, right cool. Now. Thank you. So I always use a spring form tin for this as well, so it's easy to get it out. Um, and I don't mind in the mixture if there are a few like white lumps left of egg white um, because it will cook out. So we've got the melted butter. Yeah. And you wouldn't add any flour, coat it with flour or anything. No. That's good. I can tell I love my butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. And now this is gonna go straight in here. And then we're gonna bang it in the oven. So do you wanna I'll pour and then you slush it in? Yeah, or? I'll, okay, I'll, cool. I'll right. So there we go. Okay. So in cool. the oven, yeah. we've preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. Yes. And this is gonna go for about 20 minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna check it and see if we need to do some foil for 10 minutes. Right. Smells Voila. so good. Okay. Right, so we're gonna let this cool a little bit before trying to take it out. Voila! Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, we it? yeah, let's pop it on here. I'm so nervous. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. You've got it out. That's the toughest thing, right? Okay. So, you can either wait and have this like cool. If you put it in the fridge, it goes fudgy, but we're just gonna tuck right yeah, in. I was like, Are you, do you really think we're gonna wait? No, we're definitely not. Um, so, what I do is, it's just. Yeah, this is perfect. So you can see that there's going to be lots of gooeyness inside. Mm. I'm going to pile on all the berries now. Okay. Um, and then we'll dust it with some icing sugar. I'll get the icing sugar. Okay. Perfect. I like to do a lot of berries. Pop them over there, shall we? And shall I just... Yeah, and now frost it with oh. icing sugar. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's actually looking great. Yeah. And that's it. So you see, not scary. That was actually much easier than i anticipated mm, it to be yeah. so little so few ingredients yeah so really easy to do like while you have a dinner party because you can just pop in whisk up the egg whites do things and it's really a cloud pleaser yeah absolutely Fantastic. so yeah guys we're gonna dig in yeah and we'll be sharing the recipe on the blog make sure to check it out and we'll see you guys later bye <laughs> Is it? Oh yes! Look at that! Oh my God! See, it's like the perfect <gasps> amount, unless it's chilled. Oh, look at that! That That's... is like, and you know, if we'd left it, we could have taken it out maybe like three minutes earlier if we wanted more goo. Yeah. But that's perfect, you know. Oh no, that's a nice amount of goo. Okay, good yeah. Oh. Man. So twelve minutes if we were going to put them in little ramekins. Yeah. All right. But always good just to check. 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. Let's do this. Mm. Right. Oh, I'm going boy. straight for this. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. This needs a little cake dance. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but I like how like the edge is more fudgy and then inside is mm. all like runny and gooey. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I like that it's not very sweet. Mm. That's sweet enough. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> That's 70% is such a well-rounded chocolate. This know? is definitely going to be on my must-make for dinner parties. Good. List. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, yeah, I can't wait to see what you mm -hmm. make and post. <laughs>